Another question that we're often faced with is, what is hope? Can I say this today, that hope is a firm assurance regarding things we cannot know or see. How do we have that assurance? We have that assurance because our hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ. This is not a wish. I've often helped, told students that you need to prepare for this test, and they say, well, I hope I pass. Well, that's not that kind of hope. Uh, I've been teaching for 44 years, and this hope is one thing, but rather the hope that the Bible's talking about is an expectation. Our expectation is in the Lord. Right? We know what's going to happen. We know what's happening. And when we are saved, this changes who and what we are. It should change the way we think. It should change the way we act. But it gives us a different hope. Uh, when we are saved, we are dead to sin. You've heard it said before, the things I used to do, I don't do them anymore. The Bible says old things are passed away. Old things are become new. The Bible talks about the fact that we are regenerated. We are made new again. And that gives us a new hope. We're now alive in righteousness. When does this hope start? It all started with the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is a very fact in history that gives us hope. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know that He is living no matter what men may say. That's my hope. My hope is in Him. People will let you down. People will sometimes disappoint you. And it's sad that that happens. But can I say this, friend? Jesus will never fail you. Jesus will never let you down. You can put your hope in Him. Hope starts the resurrection. It continues in the present. Why is that? Because the Lord Jesus Christ is alive and He ever liveth to make intercession for us. What a great promise that is. He stands at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us. What a wonderful intercessor, the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who loves us so much, that He's willing to die for us. So, this love will continue as long as He's alive. And since Christ will never die, it will continue through all eternity. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, the Bible says that Jesus has given us a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. A living hope, a lively hope. In Hebrews chapter 6, verse 19, it says, Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast. I like that thought of an anchor. Is your anchor sure? At the top of the Niagara Falls, it can be quite dangerous there. And there's two signs on either side of the falls. And it says this, the small boats that are up there, they might be fishing or even pleasure crafts. It says this, do you have an anchor? Friends, we have an anchor and his name is Jesus. And because of that, our hope is cared for. We have a hope in a person and we have a hope in a plan. And his word makes both the person and the plan so clear to us. I'm glad that we do not live as those who have no hope.